Current prevalence and risk factors associated with human T lymphotropic virus type 1 and human T lymphotropic virus type 2 infections among HIV AIDS patients in Sao Paulo, Brazil. A cross-sectional study led by Adele Catarino de Araujo at the Immunology Department, Instituto Adolfo Lutz, Secretary of Health of Sao Paulo. Like the retrovirus HIV, human T lymphotropic viruses types 1 and 2, or HTLV1 and 2 for short, are single-stranded RNA viruses that infect individuals via sexual intercourse or exposure to contaminated blood, and then proceed to replicate in their host cells. HGLV1 infection is associated with an aggressive blood cancer and a chronic spinal cord disorder, and HTLV2 has been detected in similar neurological disorders. Co-infection with HIV can accelerate the progression of AIDS and other associated diseases. In Brazil, an estimated 600,000 people are living with HIV, and an estimated 300,000 to 800,000 are infected with either HTLV1 or HTLV2, the highest prevalence in Latin America. Studies in Sao Paulo in the early 1990s identified 13% co-infection associated with intravenous drug use. The investigation by Caterina de Araujo and her colleagues suggests a much narrower overlap of 3.11%, evenly split between HTLV type 1 and 2. The researchers tested 1,608 HIV infect patients attending the AIDS STD Reference and Training Center in Sao Paulo for HTLV co-infection using enzyme immunoassays, immunoblotting, and real-time PCR techniques. The current low co-infection rates reflect measures introduced by the Brazilian government in 1989 to control the spread of HIV from intravenous drug use, as well as an overall shift from injecting cocaine to smoking crack cocaine. Risk factors for co-infection were female gender, black or mixed race color, older age, intravenous drug use, and hepatitis B and C virus infection. The higher prevalence among women could be explained by engagement in unprotected sex in exchange for drugs. The researchers are currently working to refine their techniques for detecting HTLV infection among HIV AIDS patients and apply them to centers across Sao Paulo.